Well, hello guys, welcome to episode 65 of The Rock, great to have you back. Um, so we're starting the real proper season, not the real season, the proper season after our sort of European disaster, and we we made some business, some pretty significant business since last we were together, so I was bemoaning the, the lack of players I could, was able to bring in. Uh, we've made some changes, which I'm quite happy with. So we bought in these three players, Gary Scott, Jay Barton, Tom Chamberlain. I'm not going to go through those just yet. Let's just have a look at who's gone out. Uh, Darren Doherty, our central midfielder, he wasn't going to get many games. So we, we've sent him out to our new affiliate club, Lions. Olympi aren't at the affiliate club anymore because they're now in our division. Josh Ramage, he was causing some uh, some trouble. The, um, the captain, Busto, came to me and said, Ramage is causing issues, so we shipped him out on loan, so he's not going to cause issues anymore. And the other thing to note is that uh, Ridley, I can't remember if I said that, Ridley and Vinay have both left the club, so we sort of opened up a few more sort of spaces. But in, in, and these are three really good transfers, I think. Gary Scott is the first one. Central midfielder, someone to um, really give us a bit of quality in there. I mean, look, he's got decent free kick taking. Finally, since Technica, we have somebody who's a decent player who can. who's not just in the team to take free kicks, but he's got other, other abilities. He's got decent abilities to mark. So, I mean, despite the fact that he, he sort of prefers to play in a lot of these roles. He can play as a ball-winning midfielder quite effectively, and we might just be putting him in that role. Great decision-making, um, pretty good passing, pretty good off the ball, great balance. He's got a lot of very, very good attributes. Really, really glad to have Gary Scott in the team. Joey Barton here um, is a striker. He looks pretty good, doesn't he? He's a bit pacey. You know, we like a bit of a pacey poacher. He's going to be another player who can who can sort of slot in and out. And finally, we've got some options up front beyond the players that we were sort of relying on. Good finishing, good first touch, good heading with decent jumping reach. He's six foot one for Christ's sake. I mean, he's 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 a giant. He's a giant of a man. Um, decisions uh, nine, composure six. His concentration's one, which isn't so great, but. I think a lot of these other attributes make up for that. And finally, sorry, Damien, we've we've bought we've bought in another goalkeeper uh, finally, and he he looks a bit better. Unfortunately, he's decent stats across the board. Eccentricity of one, which is good. He's super fast. He's going to run out and, and and grab the ball. Decent jumping reach, which you always want with a goalkeeper. Obviously, decent. Sorry, aerial reach with you want with a goalkeeper. I guess the jumping reach will be similar. Uh, but a lot of these important stats are sort of in in the nines and tens, which is which is really good. Uh, our coaches uh, do rate him. He's got great potential ability. We bought him. He's an English lad from Hungerford for a thousand pounds, which I think is our record signing. I think. So we are playing Gibraltar Phoenix, who are also a professional club, which surprised me a little bit. And they've made about 20 signings. I'm not exaggerating there. They've made about 20 signings. So let us see how we can do. This is the team we're going with. We have Chamberlain in goal. Uh, he is he's on an injection for this. I think we're playing Gibraltar, Phoenix after, uh, Gibraltar United after this. We'll bring Damien back in for that. Um, then we've got back four, back through, uh, back five of PG Tips on the left, Busto, Thomas Freeman, and Crisp on the right. Still want to improve those right and left backs. Then we've got Scott and Akris in midfield, and up front we've got Barton, Reynolds, and Smullen, who's now playing as a pressing forward. Hopefully he impresses as a pressing forward. And and I'm I'm quite pleased. So we can see we've got Vinay out injured and Pike out injured and, and Chamberlain's not quite fit. But star ratings wise, the team looks good. This is going to be a bit of a challenge. Although they 
and basically have a team of strangers so that has to help us playing them first up um, we have played two competitive games and to be fair I don't think we've really played particularly well so we're going to see how we do our long ball over the top long ball tactics we're going to continue with and we're going to hope for the best I think hope for the best nothing's going on nothing at all but first highlight first highlight into Reynolds Reynolds crosses it in is that a penalty it's a penalty first thing Joey Barton does is get himself pulled down great play I'll take that is it Smullen start as he means to go on great penalty I think it was, no, it was Reynolds who was a bit worried he was going to be replaced but um, no he's not really we, we we can move this around to make sure that we don't replace Reynolds because he's just too good to replace so good start Busto already on a yellow card let's let's shout at them let's let's praise them please them for the start they've made although Phoenix are looking a little bit worrisome Stanton and Evans has it he's sort of going backwards Stanton's got the ball we're not able to get the ball off them at the minute come on tackle 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 that's it don't need to worry about the legit legitimacy of that tackle Barton he's got his one-on-one -on -one chance he scores he's he hasn't got the disease he's one-on-one -on -one disease free oh yeah brilliant stuff well done Joey we like that I mean who knows what that challenge was but we'll take it we will absolutely take that great Scott right get creative see if that yeah pressures them knew it would They've changed that. Get Creative used to work brilliantly and now they've just made it not work at all. It's, it's basically concentrate but with a randomizer. PG Tips. Oh! Scott chips it in. Thomas just over the bar. Decent first half. Um, you know, they've had more chances than we have, but. But we have had the better chances, which is always nice. 2 0 up. Very, very good. Uh, decent defensive work. Yep. I think that is pretty, pretty damn good. Let's hope for the second half in a very similar vein. You'd expect they'd come out at us a little bit here. <laughs> well nice I'm, I'm, I'm excited by some of these players now it all looks very good look at seven for Chamberlain I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry Damien but um, yeah he, he's a bit better <laughs> I feel bad right we're gonna make a change and what we are going to do is bring on Chrissy Mason who's player I rate a lot this is all going swimmingly well at the minute. Um, well, are they going to have a chance here? It's McNamara, who sounds like a footballer. He's running through the entire team and plays the worst ball known to man, but we get away with it. Crisp just hacks down. I mean, they, they literally don't have a referee. It's, it's Joey Barton unselfishly plays the ball into Reynolds, and he misses that. He misses it. Misses it from there. I mean, what the hell, Reynolds? Oh dear me. I think anybody's grandmother can score that. Alive or dead, you know. The that should have been in. Right, for that Reynolds, you're coming off, mate. You're coming off your bit and getting hooked. You're getting hooked. Hooked off. We'll bring on Dobinson, who is a better pressing forward than Smullen is. So we'll pop him on and see how that does. We have the options, I think. We have a lot more options this time round when things aren't quite going to plan. Oh dear. Well, 
86 minutes in. We're going to go to balanced. Dear me, Chris, what's going on? Well, 90 minutes in, it's Smullen. He's got the ball on this left left side. It's dreadful ball in there. And, oh, this is not good. Well, we've got the ball over the What is going on? Who knows? Smullen, he's not going to pass it. He doesn't even know how to pass the ball. And he fires it past the post. I thought he was going to score that. I certainly would be disappointed if we don't win this. And there's still chance here. Are we going to get the ball back off? And we do. Chrissy Mason, he plays it to absolutely nobody. Somebody in the crowd called him and he said, oh, here you go, mate. Their goalkeeper's got exactly the same kit that they've got on, which I thought was not allowed. And we went 2-1. Um, and I'm happy with that. It's a good start. I, th I think Phoenix are going to be another difficult side um, very happy very happy across the board really a bit disappointed with the goal conceded a bit disappointed with Reynolds's miss but other than that take it absolutely take it and Tom Chamberlain he's out for just a, a couple of days so he might even be back for the next game we will have to wait and see okay guys right so we're going to come back I think we're going to give ourselves we'll play the next three games and then we'll come back against Gibraltar Phoenix Lincoln who knows what I'm talking about Lincoln Red Imps we're coming back for Lincoln Red Imps who are who've, who've actually started to maybe eke back towards Europa FC so it'll be a real challenge that will I hope you enjoyed this if you did hit that like button make sure you do and if you want to see more and you haven't done so already please subscribe hit the little bell down on the bottom and that'll make sure it, the episodes always pop up in your um, feed your subscription feed type thing um, leave a comment down below and I will see you next time cheers goodbye <laughs>